Dr. Eggman. Let's get into this character for the day. I really believe this dude, if implemented, well, the way that I'm about to explain, will be such a fun character. And the way I'm going to show you in the moveset, well, don't worry, I'll get there in a second, but the way that I'm going to show it off is two different play styles in one character. It'll be fun, it'll make sense once I get there, but uh, yes, Dr. Eggman, he is a main villain, which by the way is severely lacking representation on the Smash Bros. roster. Yeah, can we get a few more of them villains in there, please? Okay, or at least just one. Come on, let's start with one. But uh, look, not only is he he's a villain, but he's iconic he is he's got great history in gaming he's an all-around household name people that play games know dr eggman that simple right plus his play style like i was saying could be incredibly enjoyable and it comes with sort of a gimmick and again uh for his fighting style in terms of like an eggmobile and also outside of an eggmobile now some people will say really what can he do outside of an Eggmobile? I will demonstrate in just a couple seconds, but uh, you know, boots on the ground for the fighting style, but he could come up with like uh, some gadgets, you know, slap attacks, maybe kicks, punches, whatnot. You know, th there's there's potential there. So let me stop uh, tooting his own horn here and uh, let's demonstrate some of Eggman's potential moves. Take this! All right, we're going to start things off with what his gimmick is. Usually I'll start with the neutral special. Don't worry, that will, that's coming up. That is coming up. But I'm uh, starting with his gimmick. His gimmick would be him essentially just getting in and or out of an Eggmobile. And that would be his down special move. This is how you activate it. So he starts the battles in his Eggmobile. You hit down special. And say, for example, his down special would be him like uh, changing between the two, right? So when exiting the Eggmobile... It will just self-destruct, causing a big explosion, catching any opponent for big damage. And when entering a new Eggmobile, uh, well, the Eggmobile just pretty much appears out of nowhere, and Eggman just immediately jumps into it, you know? So uh, that's kind of how the, the gimmick works. It's just one move, but that, that's kind of what the whole gimmick is going to revolve around. How about this? Now, neutral special. I'm going to go over all the special moves in a row, and then we'll go over the special moves when he's out of the Eggmobile. So first up, neutral special in the Eggmobile will be the Flame Shot. Now, or Flamethrower, whatever you want to call this move. This one's a very simple idea, right? It's the Eggmobile, and it fires out this laser pillar thing of flames. And once it hits the ground, it will, you know, kind of, kind of how, um, uh, I don't know, it just kind of like lights the, the, the ground on fire for a few tiles. And if you get caught in it, you're going to take a little bit of burn damage over time for a few seconds. So, uh, Typical, you know, nice little projectile type of uh, uh, move here for Eggman to play with. You little... Moving on to side special again in the Eggmobile. This one is going to be the Eggmobile, the drill. So this move is actually kind of cool. So Eggman will drive straight forward uh, in his vehicle with the drill point. Uh, so the, the sweet spot of the drill, that, this is where you really want the move to connect, right? The sweet spot is going to be the very uh, tip, the very point of the drill. You connect that, that's where you're going to get most damage. But again, you can activate this move and the drill will end up hitting an opponent. This will be like a multi-hit sort of attack. So um, it'll be like, bah, bah, bah. like yeah, that, that explained it well, nice. But uh, it's, it's a multi-hit attack. But again, if you hit the move, if you hit the opponent with the very tip of the drill, it's going to do a lot of damage and a lot of knockback. But if you just catch them in a regular... You know, not on the tip of the drill. It's going to be, uh, you know, a multi-hit attack from that. But uh, I think also when driving in this, uh, if you press the attack button again, the drill itself will get launched forward as its own projectile, thus ending, well, the attack. So, yeah. I'll get you yet! All right, so up special time in the Eggmobile again. It's a simple one. It's hover. I mean, that's what he's going to do. He's going to hover around. Going to have decent control on this one, so you can. it's not just like a, you jump and... Uh, think of Peach and Daisy uh, to an extent. Uh, the, they're hovering a little bit. But this one, you slowly, slowly descend. Peach and Daisy, you can hold that jump button and uh, hover, and literally you can just kind of go back and forth, left to right, but you don't lose any altitude. This one, 
this would be a very slow dropping attack unless you want to like cancel out of it then you could free fall but uh, yeah hover I have for the up special just to just makes too much sense <laughs> All right, now we're going to go to the special moves outside of the Egg Mobile, keep in mind. So the first one, the neutral special, I like this one a lot. I think this one could fit very well. Again, because he doesn't fight too much outside of Egg Mobile, so uh, let's get creative with this a little bit. All right, he's got these things called Badniks. Now, what are they? They're like these little, I don't know, robotics minion type of deals that he invented after all. So, uh... Uh, I think the way this could work, uh, when you hit neutral special, again, not in the Eggmobile, outside of it, when you hit neutral special, like a selective wheel will end up popping up, uh, similar to kind of like uh, Shulk and his Monado arts. Uh, you will end up having to choose from one of, I think, four, I think I have four down here, but one of four bad nicks. And you can only have one of these out at a time. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Moto Bug, which I kind of think could act pretty similarly to uh, Bowser Jr.'s Mecha Koopa. You throw it out and it kind of just runs back and forth a little bit and then uh, it just well, damages the opponent or whatever. But uh, yes, uh, the Moto Bug is the first one. The second one, we're going to go with the Buzz Bomber. Now this one, when summoned, will stay hovering around Eggman himself, firing shots downwards towards the ground. It's like a, it's literally like a, a, like a, a fly or a, or a bee just kind of hovering around, kind of being annoying and trying to swat it away. But in this case, Eggman wants it around him. Just kind of firing off a little bit of projectile here and there. Uh, just, well, being annoying like it should be. Next up, we will go with the Burrow Bot, which when this one is summoned, burrows into the ground. And then once he gets close enough to an opponent or an opponent gets close enough to him, he will pop out of the ground. And, well, he, you'll see he basically pops out and kind of like knocks the opponent backwards, doing a little bit of damage. But, um, yeah, the Burrow Bot, kind of a fun little one here. And then, of course, the final one that I'm going to go with is the Slicer, this Praying Mantis type dude. That, like, these dudes, I, I, I always liked these dudes as a kid. They were fun. But uh, they, these little dudes would uh, kind of send their pincers rapidly shooting uh, towards the opponent. So they got their own projectile. Uh, but if you do get close, they can slash and swipe at you. So uh, they, they're close range and they're kind of, you know, uh, long range at the same time. But uh, cool little uh, neutral special for Eggman outside of the Eggmobile. How do you like that? All right, for side special, again, outside of the Eggmobile, I'm going to go with the Dummy Rings. Nobody in the Sonic series, I guess Sonic's the only character playable, so he doesn't have Dummy Rings to play with, but basically the Dummy Rings. I like this move because it's uh, it's kind of a cool idea. It's another sort of projectile type of uh, move that Eggman can play with. So basically, Eggman would end up throwing these Dummy Rings out in front of him around him maybe just kind of like throws like five of them like straight up and like two land uh to behind him two land in uh, front of him and one stays hovering in the air for whatever reason uh but if an opponent not eggman himself but if an opponent happens to make contact it will have that electric stun sort of effect to it and then eggman can follow it up and you know with you know good I don't know, grab attack into something else, or a big smash attack for big damage, whatever it is. But uh, dummy rings I have for his side special. Blast you, Sonic! All right, up special time. I don't actually have any clips for this one, but uh, it, this one's simple. Uh, it's going to be pretty similar to Sonic, because uh, these things are, like, everywhere in the Sonic game. But I'm going with the Thorn Spring, making this a little bit different than Sonic's actual spring. But uh, Eggman, basically, just like Sonic, jumps off of a spring, uh, leaping into the air, while simultaneously sending the Thorn Spring uh, straight downwards. And the Thorn Spring would end up doing more damage, because it's heavier and more, you know, it's, it's just, it's got thorns around it. It's going to hurt. So, uh, uh, again, Eggman is not going to, I don't think, he's not going to quite have the height of Sonic, but he'll kind of get somewhat close to it, because, again, these, these springs can send you pretty far, but... Uh, yeah, uh, up special Eggmo or Eggman out of the Eggmobile. I'm just gonna jump off a Thorn Spring. Give it up! Ow! All right, now let's go to the Smash Attack. This one is inside the Eggmobile. This one is going to be the classic hammer. Simple Eggman. The Eggmobile pulls out this giant hammer and swings it. Uh, I can kind of imagine like if you think of a clock. Think of he's gonna swing it like 
Uh, he's going to have it above his head and swing downward. So like a 12 to 5 motion from a clock, if that makes sense. 12 to 6 if you want. But uh, yeah, it's big hammer, big forward smash. It just kind of, I'm mean, that just made too much sense for the Eggmobile for a smash attack. Don't you think? Every time! Now the forward smash outside of the Eggmobile. This one's going to be, well, very basic, but uh, look, look at Eggman. Look at him punch that's what it's gonna be it's gonna be a big old punch he's got power behind his uh, punches so Eggman delivers a simple punch forward I mean really can't get much simpler than that all right moving on to the spirit portion of this one so uh I could have I could have just uh for his spirits I could have just reused a lot of the sonic spirits that are in the game but for fun I created seven just you know, just like that. Why not? So uh, we have the Death Egg Robot, which does happen to be his final smash. But uh, this would be the Legend Spirit fight. I know I could have picked, you know, I could have picked Dr. Eggman himself as the actual Legend Spirit. Uh, but there's already a fight for that. And I wanted to kind of go with something different because, well, that's what would happen if he were to be playable and get his uh, brand new Legend Spirit. So Death Egg Robot. And we will jump into that uh, that Spirit fight in just a second. But uh what else we got? We got the Deadly Six I threw in there. Classic Sonic, so why not fight Sonic on Dr. Eggman's spirit board? Because why not? Uh, we got some of his other little minions. We got Orbot and Cubot. Throw them in there. Uh, I went with uh, Thorn Spring itself as an actual spirit. This could be like a support spirit that, well, just increases your jump height or something like that. Simple with that one. And then, of course, all the bad nicks. That'd be kind of fun, just getting a bunch of... I don't know, Bowser Juniors or something. I don't know. I don't imagine this fight quite yet. But a bunch of bad nicks, you know, the Moto Bug, the Buzz Bomber, the Slicer. And you just kind of, like, fend off and try to defeat, like, multiple. So there's, like, 10, 12, 15 of these little uh, little bugs, whatever, flying around. You just got to defeat them all. I think uh, that'd be pretty cool. So, uh, yep, that is the Spirit Board. So let me quickly jump into that Legend Spirit fight. All right, time for the Legend Spirit fight. So uh, this one is pretty simple. So the Death Egg robot itself is, well, a literally giant armored robot. So how about that could be the fight right there. You will fight Dr. Eggman for the Legend Spirit fight, but he will be giant for the whole battle. He will have super armor or... Um, here, okay, I always forget to do this. My bad, my bad. Um, Wait, 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 how do I... How do I control the computer again? Where's the... No? This is a different screen. What's happening? What's happening? Anyway, the, the, the point is, um, Dr. Eggman would be giant. He would have super armor. He would move slow. He would move slow, to be fair. Uh, I don't want shuffling. Uh, where is this? How do I... I'm so confused right now. Did they change up training? Why is this so different? Why is this different? Oh, wow, wow. Where did I go? There we go. Beat me up. There you go. Maybe, there you go. But, uh, yeah, so the fight, again, you're fighting an, an Eggman who would be in his mech because that's how he would start. He would be in his Eggmobile, so he would be giant. He would have slow super armor, and, of course, he moves slower just like he does in the uh, the, the, the egg fight, uh, the, the boss fight, I should say. So it's uh, staying true to his character. Then, I don't know, you could have something pretty fun with the uh, the, the, the actual attack, uh, the Legend Spirit itself. Look at Look at how much... Like, right now, he's got, like, super tank armor on. Yeah, this is kind of what he would do. Look at look at it. I just hit him with a smash attack. What'd that do? Like, four damage? Yeah, that's kind of what we'd be dealing with here. That's kind of what we'd be dealing with right now. But uh, uh, just a fun little idea, staying true to the uh, the actual Death Eggmobile itself. And uh, this would be a really tough fight. This would be a really tough fight. But as for, like, the say the spirit effect, I don't know. Maybe you could give him... Uh, it could be, like... It's more super armor, but maybe your defense is increased a little bit more, or I, maybe maybe it's just a spirit where your defense is increased a lot, and you happen to uh, just move slow. I don't I don't know. I haven't really thought about the effect, but uh, yeah, that's just kind of how I got the, uh, the the spirit fight working for right now. And now finishing things off with the stage, I'm gonna go Iron Gate. I know this one might be a little weird. Uh, but uh, I'm going Iron Gate for a couple reasons. The main one, this is actually the first time you can play as Eggman in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. I, that was one of my all-time favorite games growing up as a kid. I'm very attached to that. The Chow Garden, uh, Racing Chows, uh, the Chow Games, all that was so fun. One of my favorite favorite games of all time right there. So uh, 
I guess it, this game has a special place in my heart, which is kind of why I'm going with the stage from the game as well. But uh, Eggman obviously ties into it. Like I said, it's the first time you can play as Eggman in the game. So Iron Gate, uh, I don't know. I just kind of thought it'd be like a cool little idea for a stage. Plus, it's, it gives you a different sort of feel and a different scenery uh, to, for a Sonic stage than, uh, well, the two that we currently have in uh, Smash Ultimate. So, yeah, just something a little different, and, uh, yeah, it fits. Anyway, that is going to be all for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I think Eggman brings such a can bring such a fun, unique style to him, a two-in-one sort of character. I really like this. So uh, that's what I have for this one. I hope you guys enjoy. So I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.